you can thank Anthony Riley for sending me this video. Uh, you know, he said, hey, you should really narrate this because there's only music. Uh, yeah, this is really important. This is some footage that was shot about two years ago in Santa Barbara, California, off the beach. And let's just zoom right into it and, and take a quick look. So this is another version of the oil rig observation. So the camera is placed in the guard railing between cafe and restroom showers. And you're going to look here. When we look at the elevation, it is set at 8 feet. So Google Earth reads, reads this as 8 feet off of the water, which is a little higher than the 1 foot uh, camera stuff that we did earlier. And then you're gonna, we're going to take a draw a line to the first platform, which is called Platform C, which is directly out in front of it. And then another one a little bit off to the right, which is Platform Habitat. And when we pull back and look at the distances of these two, we will notice the, uh, the curve cal calculator just to pull that up real fast. And then, remember, this was shot October 23rd, 2017, so over two years ago at sunrise. The first one is at a distance of 6.08 miles, platform C. And then the second one off the distance platform habitat at 10.1 miles. Why are these two important? Well, because at eight foot elevation, the globe Earth's horizon should be less than 3.5 miles meaning the horizon should be in front of these things. 29 feet of habitat should be blocked by the curvature in front of these objects. And yet, all of the habitat is visible, even with some compression. And you'll notice, and we'll draw a line here in a second, that the horizon is clearly behind these objects. And what makes this footage and all footage like it so, so important is that these are static objects, meaning these are not boats. These are always in one place. They're not moving or floating anywhere. And we'll draw the green line on this, and you can see, yeah, it's not, not hard to, to see. Somewhere way, way, way off in the distance is the horizon, way further than 10.1 miles. And that should not be. There, there's no curvature. I mean, and that only happens on a flat world. You will not see this on a, on a curve, and we just don't see that. These two oil platforms, again, one at 6 and one at 10, are right in front. So tell me optically how that happens. Tell me what atmospheric condition can put the horizon behind these objects. You want to say it's a mirage? Okay, well, if you do that, you can never say that a boat is being chopped in half by the horizon. Because you say, well, no, that's real. A boat being chopped in half by the horizon line, you know, with heavy compression and refraction. Oh, no, that's real. But this right here, sunrise, couldn't be clearer conditions. Not a cloud in the sky shooting off at, at oil platforms at 6 miles and 10 miles, respectively. You can't tell me that this is a mirage. No, no way. And even if you do say it's a mirage, tell me how a mirage puts the horizon behind the objects. That's the big key here. Uh, do this with any sort of piece of paper. Bend it in half. There, put two dots on the other side. Tell me how the horizon is behind those dots. If it's if it's a globe, it cannot be. So again, you know, share this with your friends. Show people. Look, this is this is one of the globe killers. But it's going to take people a little while to understand it. Which is what you're looking at here is objects that are in front of the horizon, which is clearly a long way behind it but it can't these objects can't be if it's a globe earth cannot be the horizon has to be in front of these objects the curve calculator which mainstream science declared that's pretty straightforward so tell me how that happens